So I'm going to show you guys two different ways you can find the link to different products or a shopping cart to send people when they're ready to order. So if they usually only want to order one product, I can send them the link directly to my website. So I will go to uh, look for the products. So say they want to do the keto coffee. I'll go find the keto coffee and then I will click on it. And then I'll go up here to the top page and I'll copy that link. And then I'll go to the text them and I'll say, here's the link to the coffee to order. Um, and I've got a script written that I use. Um, now the other way is if they want more than one product, I usually go through the connect app and create a shopping cart just because I feel like it's easier for them. They're more likely to place their order if they don't get lost on the website looking for the different products. So if you log into your connect app and you hit the little uh, people button in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little um, section here that says my shopping lists and you can create all kinds of different shopping lists. Um, I'm just gonna create a new one just to show you guys because yours is not gonna have all these in there. So um, if they want, let's say, the cleanse and the coffee, I'm gonna click on, let's say they want one skinny brew, so I'm gonna click that. Um, if they wanted two, you can click two. And then um, we'll just say they want um, a thing of celery too. Okay, so then I'll hit save. And then it's going to show you've got those three products and then you hit send and it's got this link here and you really just uh, copy this and then I go to their text, I go to their text and then I'll send it through text and then this is what it looks like when I send it through a text. I'm just going to send it to myself. And um, you'll see as soon as it finishes populating here, I can click on it <clears throat> and it's going to say um, your friend Ashley has created a personalized cart for you. It's got all three of the products in there. It's showing the regular price right now, but I don't know if the celery is on the pick three right now, but if it's on a sale, it usually won't show you the sale price till you get to the very end. So I'll kind of tell them that I'll say it's going to show the regular customer pricing until you get to the end of the checkout and then it'll show the discounted pricing. So there it is, the pick two, pick three pricing, and it's changed the pricing on that. So um, anyway, that's how you do it. Um, usually I'll do the shopping cart if it's more than one product, um, and then if it's just one product, I usually just send them the link to my website.